What is up Hollywood stars? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to do a get ready with me. So I did this look and we're also going to be kind of doing a little life update chit chat. So if you want to see um, this look and what I have to say, then just keep watching. And as always, don't forget to shine bright because it's slow Hollywood time. Hollywood stars welcome back to my channel so today I want to do like a very like glam smoky look because I'm going out clubbing tonight which I haven't done in a minute and the reason why I also look a little bit weird is because I literally just got out of the shower um, so I decided I'm gonna do my makeup first I have to also go to work so I have to make this makeup last because I'm going to work and then um, it's like a six hour shift and then I'll go clubbing right after that. So I'm only gonna have time to kind of touch up at work, but not really. So yeah, let me just go ahead and get started. And I also just wanna do a little bit of a catching up um, in this video, so stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so um, first and foremost, um, today I'm going out because it's one of my coworkers' birthdays and he invited me to go out and i'm really excited i also feel like i definitely need this outing because so actually i haven't been um filming in about two weeks um only because i wasn't feeling very like well like emotionally um this past so today is let me just my phone Today is Friday, March 6th, or you guys can tell. So on Tuesday, I actually ended my relationship of almost three years. So so that's why I've been a little bit MIA, um, just because I feel like I had been feeling a little bit upset. Um, I didn't really have like, I didn't feel like in a good headspace to kind of film here and try to put a good face to you guys. So um, I just kind of took some time off. Um, I took a lot of like time to reflect and really think about if this is something that I wanted to do. Um, it's just kind of hard when you still love someone but you know that you're just not on the same page. So I knew it was time to let go. So that's kind of what happened. Um, I do have a film, um, sorry, I do have a video that's um, going to be probably posted before this one. And that one was already pre-filmed. Um, but yeah, I did take like two weeks off. Okay. But anyways, that's how I'm going out today because I'm like, I just need to go out and have fun. And I'm feeling a little bit better. So I just figured, let me just film. That always gets me happy. So I'm going to go in with my P. Louise base. This is in rumor 0.5. So um, also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my eyebrows are super, super bushy because I'm actually letting them grow out because I want to do um, the brow lamination. So that's why they look like crazy. Um, so I'll probably be filming that um whenever i get it done so hopefully by the i think i'm thinking hopefully like mid march late march so we'll see how that goes so i'm just gonna carve the brow and um also drag it down and that will be my primer Okay, so for eyeshadow, I think I'm just gonna do something like kind of smoky. So um, let's see what palette to use. Also, like I said, I'm going to work, so I wanna try to use MAC products. So I'm gonna go into my Patrick Star. Um, this is the Glow, yeah, Goal Getter palette. Um, like I said, this one does come with four shadows, but you can still get these shadows. So it comes with the soft brown right here. And then it comes with amber lights, Swiss chocolate, and I'm into it. So I'm gonna go into, let's see, 
You guys, I literally have a mess in my like little vanity area. Like I can't, like I need to get it together. Let me zoom you guys in. So I'm gonna go into um, soft brown and I'm just going to add this to the crease just like very liberally that way it can just warm it up also it's going to be like a transition shade so um what else has been going on so if you guys saw my video about um testing out curology or not what the heck not curology um not using that anymore um testing out the ordinary so i actually feel like I mean, it's only been like two weeks, but I do feel like some of my spots have kind of um, kind of gone down a little bit. So I don't know. This side looks a little bit rough still, but I mean, I'm still gonna try to. Actually, I'm I am going to keep using it. So I definitely want to, you know, give it a good, fair chance to work. Um, and like I said, um, it's just kind of weird because all of this looks like acne, but it's just like dark spots, but they look red. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at with The Ordinary. So I will keep you guys posted. Um, also, I'm excited because I went to the dermatologist and they're actually giving me some um, oral acne medication that hopefully is going to work. Um, and I mean, I don't know, hopefully it works because I'm so over having acne. Um, so yeah, we'll see. So hopefully that with the ordinary will, you know, make a difference. So I'm just going in with a little bit of Swiss chocolate, just like on the outer crease, just to start deepening up this look. Also, um, another life-changing thing that has happened in my life. Um, so I'm actually going back to MAC, like as permanent. And I'm going back to my old location, so I'm actually really excited to be permanent again and get all the perks and whatnot. So um, I feel like it's hard to transition from graduating college and trying to find a job because you feel the pressure and stuff but I don't know after like so much like reflecting and just you know figuring out like what am I doing with my life what do I want to do I just decided that I want to stick with Mac for now because I honestly do love working there and I feel like I'm in no rush right now so I just want to kind of slow down and just enjoy you know life I'm gonna go into I'm into it with a smaller brush so yeah I'm back with Mac um, with that being said they are actually they've already launched a lot of really good stuff that is like bomb you guys like you guys have to try it out I'm gonna be using some of those products in this video so I'll let you guys know what they are so this color I'm just concentrating the outer crease slash outer lid like basically outer V so this is one of the um, new eyeshadows this is the um, clear packaging. It's called Trompe Trompello. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But this is basically their new formula and it's so freaking creamy. Um, yesterday, which is Thursday, March 5th, they launched um, a bunch of new eyeshadows, dazzle shadows, like bomb.com. Like they're so creamy, so pigmented. So definitely go out and check them out because they're super, super nice. But this is one of the colors that I got for gratis and this one was actually part of the loud and clear collection and it's like so freaking pigmented and so bomb I'm actually got I'm actually glad that um, I got this color because it's just nice to have a nice neutral you know especially because I have so many um, just like crazy colorful colors already nice to get this one I guess I'm kind of doing like a sort of like very cut crease here just with the shadow itself I think I'm gonna go back to the I'm into it shade and I'm just going to kind of do a little liner there so 
so just like that. Oh my god, like my light was facing the other way, that's why it looked kind of dark in here. But um, anyway, so I did um, add some mascara and then um, finished the little liner up here and added some black eyeliner. I'm gonna do some natural radiance. This is just a little sample I have from MAC. This is good um, to help control the oil throughout the day, but it also gives you a nice radiance. Um, so I haven't used this one in quite a while, but this is just a professional, and I'm gonna use this just kind of like right here where I have the most pores. So I'm gonna be using the Studio Fix by MAC. I also have a little sample here, and this one um, is NC16. I've honestly really been loving this shade. I feel like it's so good for my skin. It matches, I feel like it just matches so well. of my Huda Beauty Pound Cake Powder. And I'm just gonna use some of this to kind of seal everything in place. Cause I, again, we're gonna have to be wearing this for a long time and I need it to last all night long. And I just like pushed it into the skin. I'm just gonna add it where I like, basically all along here where I get oily. <coughs> Whoa. Oh my god, I feel like I just swallowed some powder. I'm gonna use 3.5 Studio Fix Powder by MAC and I'm using my Kabuki brush from Smashbox. And I'm just gonna put this in the rest of the face where we didn't use the other powder. Okay, we are coming together. So yeah, you guys, I feel like that's pretty much everything that's been going on in my life. Um, besides the freaking um, coronavirus, that is super, super scary. Um, so actually, what we're doing now at MAC is we can't use our brushes. So basically, what that means is we pretty much can't do makeovers, um, you know, like eyeshadow, stuff like that. So I know it's going to be hard. This just happened yesterday. Um, like the decision was just made yesterday, March 5th. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how how it goes. Um, but yeah, it's really scary times. So I don't know if I mentioned this sponge to you guys. Um, this is from Real Techniques. It's the um, like Miracle Powder Sponge. This one is so good. My friend Caesar um, recommended this one to me. And I like to use this um, like for my under eyes. This is the Studio Fix in NC15. So I just picked some of this up and this will just kind of help to highlight my under eye. And you can actually use this sponge um, dry or wet. I'm gonna bronze a little bit with dark golden mineralized powder by MAC. I'm gonna just take a fluffy brush. Oh shit. Oh my god. Okay, I just literally dug my nail on my powder. Like, what the heck? Ugh. Okay, I'm I can't today. Okay, so I'm gonna just take a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna sort of contour my nose a little bit.
Okay, so for blush, I'm using this one. Um, this is by MAC. I'm not blushing. Um, powder Duo, Blush Powder Duo by, this is like the Patrick Star Times MAC um, collaboration. But this one is actually has two blushes that are permanent at MAC, so it comes with Gingerly and Peaches. So I'm going to be using Peaches today. Okay, so I just realized I didn't use um, the new blush, but I've been using this nonstop too. This is um, the Glow Play Blushes by MAC, um, and these are actually cream blushes, but they're so freaking bouncy, and I find that these work best with the really dense brush like this. You just kind of have to pat a little bit and then put it on, and oh my god, these are bomb, you guys. I'll have to use this in a different video, but definitely go play with these because they're really, really good. I'm going to now go into my Fit Me powder. This is the loose powder because um, I just kind of want to carve out like, the cheekbone a little bit. I feel like I never get these even like, I don't know if that looks even, but... Okay, I'm just going to let that bake there for a bit. So let's finish this look off. We're almost done, you guys. Um, let's see. But yeah, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know um, what you want to see next. Um, I'm also really excited that summer is on its way. Even though, are we technically still in winter? But I feel like the weather lately has been so, so nice here in Sacramento. Like... I mean, some days are still kind of windy and whatnot, but honestly, I feel like they're looking pretty, pretty darn good. I'm just trying to make my brows look kind of decent because they're definitely really, really bushy today. But I just know that if I let them grow out like to their full potential, when they do my lamination, it's gonna come out bomb. So I'm sacrificing this couple weeks for bomb brows, okay? So let's do some inner corner highlight. Well, I'm gonna first get rid of this little mascara things that I have here. So for highlight, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this um, holiday like quad from MAC. It's so bomb, you guys. I'm going to do the lighter of the highlights, which is this one. Okay, so we are almost done. I'm going to go into this flamboyant palette by MAC, and I'm going to go into the Embark shade right here, the darker one, and I'm just going to add that to the lower lash line. Okay, so for the inner corner, I kind of want to add this um, shimmery shade right here on the Foam Boy palette. So I'm going to pick some of that up and add it here. I don't want like a lot, I just want like a tiny bit. I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off. I'm gonna do Lower Lash Mascara. This is the Extended Play Giga Black by MAC Bomb. these lashes and I'll be right back to show you the lips that I use um, these are the 48s I've mentioned these in my other videos they're like super worn out but I put like a bunch of mascara on them and I feel like they look really good so I'm gonna put these on and I'll be right back 
Okay, so I went ahead and I put on the lashes and oh my god, the look looks so good. So I'm gonna do the lips. I also kind of did a little bit of like, um, I don't know, like a little wing in the inner corner because I like to have my eyes kind of pull in type of thing. But anyways, I'm gonna do Sweet Tea by Morphe for lip pencil. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using Cream by Morphe as well. It's so bomb. Flower Crown by Morphe for gloss. This just kind of helps to blend the liner and the lipstick together. Bomb. And I'm just going to finish it off with some Urban Decay De Slick Setting Spray just to help it last all night long. And this is for oily skin, which I'm super oily, so. Oh, and I almost forgot one last step. I've honestly really been loving like showing my moles a little bit. So I just take a Q-tip and I just kind of take some of the makeup away from it. So it can be a little bit more bold. Alright you guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me slash chit chat. And kind of like life update, um, if you want more videos like this one, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell so you don't miss a single video. And I will catch you next time. Bye.